Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Facebook Live Early Learning Time. Today, we are going to be doing a secret agent activity. So I have my secret agent glasses on, at least for right now. I'm secret agent Valerie. And today, we're going to read this book, and we're going to do a fun activity with invisible ink. So while we're waiting for a few more people to join us for our secret agent activity, we can just give you a couple of heads up about some supplies you might want for today. So you might want some lemon juice. You can also use a lemon right out of your backyard like I did. You might want some salt. And if you have Watercolors, that's going to be one of the options that we use today. This is just a watercolor kit I had around the house and some crayons. Um, the crayons we'll use for both of them and we'll also need some paper. So you can get some of those supplies ready to go for after our book today. And today our story is called Secret Agent Splat. And our author is Rob Scotton. He is also the illustrator. So I'm going to have to take off my secret agent glasses for this because I actually need my other glasses for seeing. So we're going to start with this story called Secret Agent Splat by Rob Scotton. All right. And we know here that at the beginning there is a secret code and I'll give you the clue to that code at the end of the story. Secret Agent Splat has some toolkits and things that he's going to talk about here in the story, and we'll see those in just a minute. Splat's dad makes toy ducks, all colors, all sizes. He makes lots of ducks. Oh, that looks like fun. The ducks are kept in the garage shed, and Splat has names for each and every one. He's named them John, Paul, Ringo, and George. Mm, parents might see a connection there to a famous band. One day, Splat was shocked to see that the red duck was missing. Who messed with my ducks? Asked Splat. Seymour shrugged. Hmm. The next day, the blue duck was missing and the red duck was back, but without his beak. Who messed with my ducks? Asked Splat. Seymour shrugged. The day after that, the green duck was missing and the blue duck was back again without a beak. Hmm, it was time to investigate. Who messed with my ducks? Asked Splat. Not me, said his mom. Not me, said little sis. Not me, said his brother. Hmm, seems that no one has messed with my ducks. Not anyone, not anybody. Nobody, said Splat. I must find this Mr. Nobody. <clears throat> Splat watched his favorite TV show and made his plans. Oh, we can see his favorite TV show is called Secret Agent Cat, and he has lots of plans here in the background. If my plan is to work, said Splat, I must be clever, cunning, and quick. I will find Mr. Nobody and solve the mystery of the missing ducks. This is a job for Secret Agent Splat. His friend down here says, the transformation is complete. Seymour, codenamed S, gave him his spy kit. A camera, some baking flour, a flashlight, a book of paw prints, and a top secret gizmo. I wonder if you can guess what that gizmo does. Mm -hmm. Secret Agent Splat put his plan into motion. He set his traps and waited. It was quiet, too quiet. Suddenly, 
there was a flash of light. Secret agent Splash raced to the sea. His trap had been sprung. The camera had taken a photo. Splat looked closely at the photo. Aha, ears, exclaimed Splat. Hmm, very familiar ears. Splat looked at the flower he had sprinkled on the floor. Aha, paw prints, exclaimed Splat. Hmm, very familiar paw prints. Who do you think it is who got caught in his trap? Splat followed the paw prints from his shed along a track to another shed. Mr. Nobody's Hideout, whispered Splat. And it says, top secret hideout right here. Kind of a dead giveaway. Keep out. Enter at your own risk. Splat tiptoed up to the door and pulled out his top secret gizmo. He pressed the latch. The door opened and he leaped inside. Gotcha, Splat cried. And then the little mouse down here says, my hero. Bright yellow eyes stared from the shadows. So secret agent Splat, you found me, replied a mysterious voice. Aha, a mysterious voice, thought Splat. Hmm, a very familiar mysterious voice. Splat shone his flashlight. He gasped. It was Spike. Spike, so you're Mr. Nobody. Hold on, my page got stuck here. Spike turned to run. Splat pressed a button and released his top secret gizmo. Boing! went the gizmo, and Spike fell to the floor. Splat sat on him. Why, Spike, Splat asked, why did you mess with my ducks? At that moment, a mouse ran past carrying another duck. That's strange, said Splat. Uh, Spike said, not another one. The mouse ran into a small hole. With a thunk, the duck's beak was knocked off as it struck the wall. Oh, and the little spider here says, oh, not another bill. Look at all those bills down there in the corner. Splat looked into the hole. Oh, do you see what's been happening to all these ducks and their bills? Was the mouse after all? The mouse was having a cup of tea with the duck. I asked Mouse not to take the ducks, but he didn't listen, said Spike. And since I don't want to get him in trouble, I've been returning the ducks. Now I see, said Splat, but why didn't Mouse take my ducks? Splat thought a while. Hmm, maybe it's not really a duck that he wants, said Splat. Splat whispered to Seymour and Seymour nodded. Maybe it's a friend. The case of the missing ducks was solved. Oh, and it looks like they're all having a nice little party there together. I think a lot of us are missing our friends while we have to stay at home. I can see why the mouse would miss his friend. Now, there is a little bit of a clue here at the back, and it says this is the duck code. We all know that secret agents need secret codes to pass their messages back and forth when they find things and they have to tell someone. So if you have the secret code, then you can go back to the beginning and you can solve the code at the front of the book. I'll give you a hint. I looked up some of these ducks earlier with the duck code and this was the T, this was the O, and this was the P. So the top, is the top line. And I wonder if you could guess what that one is, knowing the first line. A fun code for a fun secret agent book. Secret Agent Splat by Rob Scotton. Now, since we know that codes are an important part of being a secret agent, 
we have a couple of ways that you can write with invisible ink using some common ingredients that you have at home. Now for our earliest learners, we don't wanna use any of the secret or hidden inks that use heat. And you can Google invisible ink and find a lot of those. If you've seen a certain movie where they write a secret message on the back of the Declaration of Independence, they use a heat activated secret invisible ink. But because we're working with our young learners, we wanna do a very simple invisible ink using some uh, common ingredients. And our first invisible ink is actually the easiest one and it uses a crayon instead of liquid ink. So I'm going to bring you down here to my work table. And so I'm gonna remind everyone of the ingredients that we need. For our first one, we're actually just gonna use one white crayon. And if you have some invisible, sorry, not invisible, regular watercolors, you can have those on hand or a dark juice, like a grape juice or cranberry juice would probably work fine also. You could experiment to see. So the other one we're gonna use is gonna be our lemon juice salt mix, but we're gonna wait a minute for that one. So for our first one, and I'm gonna bring you up here for just a second. We're gonna use just a half sheet of paper so we could save some paper. You can use any white copy paper. And we're going to write a secret in white crayon. So our white crayon, the science behind that, is gonna block our watercolor from the paper. And that way, if your secret agent buddy knows to wipe the whole page with watercolor, then they'll be able to read the secret message. So we're gonna take our crayon, and we're gonna come back down here. And I am going to write something on this paper. And then you will need some kind of brush to go with your watercolors. I'm just gonna use the red here. If I spread it across, then you'll be able to see my secret. I did a happy face. You can do any kind of secret drawing or message with your invisible ink. So this is just using two very simple ingredients, a white crayon or a light crayon and watercolor. The important thing about the white crayon is that it matched my white paper. So if no one knew that there was a secret message on it, they would see just white and they would have to know to paint it with watercolor in order to see the message. So that is our easiest first recipe. Our second recipe is also easy to use, but it does take a little time to dry. So remember for this recipe that we are gonna use lemon juice, okay? And I actually juiced a lemon from my backyard. So if you have lemons in your backyard, go ahead and just grab a lemon for that. You just need regular lemon juice. The lemon juice weakens the paper. That's the science behind it. And we're going to do one extra step, which is to sprinkle salt on top of the lemon juice, and then it has to dry. So depending on how hot it is, wherever you're drying, you do have to wait a little bit for this to dry in order to reveal the message at the end. The last thing you need is some crayons and you can use any color. Um, I just picked like a dark pink color and that will reveal the message after it dries, but you do need to let it dry. So I'm gonna bring you down here one more time and I am going to just take a little cotton swab and I'm gonna dip it in my lemon juice. And this way I can write a message. And then I'm gonna take some salt. Remember, this is my salt that I use. And I'm gonna sprinkle it on top of my writing. Now this has to just kind of sink in a little bit. Let me cover it some more. You wanna leave this on for a couple minutes and then you can go ahead and you can just wipe it off. So it doesn't need to stay on there the whole time, but the ink does have to dry. So, and because this takes a little while to dry, this is another message that I wrote. It's the same one, but you can't see it because it's all dry now. And you can't see our salt either. We wiped most of it off. But if you come back down with me, we're gonna show you how to reveal our secret message using our crayon. Any color will do. So. I'm gonna color it in carefully over 
So again, if you know that you're getting a secret message, then you can just color over the whole page. And then you'll be able to see that I did a little heart there. Okay. So our message, because the lemon juice weakened the paper and the salt got in there when we colored, it actually picked up the salt that was ground up into the weakened paper and it let us see the message. So if you wanna practice writing some letters or if you wanted to draw an arrow somewhere to show where a secret is hidden, those are two different ways that you can leave an invisible message. And we just wanna remind you that when you are coming here for fun science activities, that you can come back at one o'clock um, for our live demo every day, Monday through Saturday, we do a 9.30 a.m. early learning live. And then at 1 p.m. we do a science demo. You can, of course, visit azscience.org for more science activities to do at home or visit our Instagram page where we have our weekly challenge and lots of science news. So thank you for being with me today. I'm going to put my secret agent glasses back on. Hope you had fun with our science and that we'll see you again soon.